Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Mark and welcome back to our FIFA 20 Late and Orient Road to Glory career mode. Now, since last time, there's nothing. I just I just decided to tease you. Um, since last time, there was one game uh, against Redden. I simmed it and it was a 1-0 win. Uh, so that's, that's all you've missed. Uh, if you did miss last episode, we played these three games here. We played Fulham, which we lost. Uh, we played West Ham in the Carabao Cup, which we drew. But then we went on to win on penalties. And then we rounded it off with a good... 3-0 win away from home against Leeds so today what we are going to do is we are going to play Barnsley uh, and we're going to play Nottingham Forest because right now that is a fourth versus fifth clash uh, so that's a big uh, game in the race for top six and we're going to finish it off with Burnley uh, in the quarter final of the Carabao Cup uh, so yeah and I think last time I, I do want to press triangle but Earlier when I tried to do it, it took its time. Yeah, it's going to do it again. Um, so, yeah, when we'll wait for this to load, uh, I just want to see the games in the Cowboy Cup. That's all I want to do because I remember last time we got quite an easy draw for this. It's still going on. Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, so we got, I'd say the, the, I don't want to say easiest game out of the bunch, but we, we avoided some, some bullets pretty much. We avoided Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham and Liverpool. Uh... So, yeah, we avoided four of the top six sides in the Prem. Uh, two more things. Uh, one is I've decided to hunt regens now. So, as you see here, uh, s uh, Swedish strikers. Oh, I wonder who I'm going for. Oh, yeah, I'm going for I'm going for Zlatan Ibrahimovic's uh, regen. And I think this might be him. Sebastian Lovqvist, uh, an exciting prospect, which means that he's got an over uh, a potential of 85 to 90, I believe that is, or 85 to 89. Uh, so I think that might be him uh, for for this save. He's at FC Cincinnati, which I assume is in America. Uh, so that's yeah, that would have been where he finished his career. Because in this, he, he hasn't gone back to AC Milan. So I think that might be him. We go to this one. Uh, if you couldn't tell, Italian goalkeepers. I wonder. Yeah, I'm going for I'm going for Gigi Buffon's region. And I think that it's one of these three. You've got Eduardo Scognamio, who's uh, shown great potential. So that means that he's potential of 80 to 84 thereabouts you've got Marola again 80 to 84 but then you've got this guy Brian Rossi who is an exciting prospect uh, which means that again he's got a potential of about 85 to 89 um, so that I think I think it's probably him but we'll keep an eye on these two as well and the last thing if we go into the squad hub Brandon Williams picked up a training injury uh, he's out for just under two months now with a torn hip so not the best, but luckily for us, we've got a decent backup left back in Luis Miguel, uh, who is wanting more play time. He's unhappy. Uh, so luckily for him, he's he's got some... He probably injured him, didn't you, you bastard? I've just noticed he's up for transfer there. Let's just... Let's just not do that. <laughs> and now he's lurking in the background, like a creep. Go away. Go away. He's gone. So yeah, I don't need to, I don't need to say anything more. Um, let's get into the game. So we'll kick off against Barnsley. Uh, mainly doing this one because they came up with us last year and they were a bit of a pain in the arse. Uh, and I think right now they're down in 18th. I don't want to press the standards because then it takes about a lifetime to load up. Uh, I think they're down about 18th or something. So it should be, touch wood, a relatively easy game. I don't want to jinx it, but I want to win. <laughs> it should be a win. So yeah, let's get into it. Here we go then. Barnsley versus Leighton Orient. Two uh, promoting, promoted uh, sides from last season going head to head at Ivy or whatever Barnsley's ground is called. I don't care enough to Google it. So, yeah, I know for a fact that the game is still doing the undefined glitch uh, because I played a game before this. I just, you know, I always do a game just to, just so you know because I always, I think everyone struggles with the first game of the day. And I say first game of the day, first game of the week. I don't play FIFA. At any other time apart from to record these. I know for a fact that's still doing that from the game that I just played about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to do this from now on. We'll have to go to the player ratings and we'll look at it like that. So this is how they line up. Uh, that keeper's already thrown me off. Uh, Greg, just call him T-Rex. Uh, Williams as right back and left back actually. B I thought about that. A bastard. Brandon Williams is apparently injured, but he's there. The cheeky gift. Anderson and Diaby at 
centre back I had to struggle I was like what the fuck position are they playing it's centre back Mark come on you've been watching footy now for about 20 years come on get with it Dougal and McGeehan uh, Brown and Order no idea uh, <laughs> and then uh, Harry Styles as a cam and then Woodrow trying to get their goals and that is how we line up uh, you pretty much know them the only the only change is you know because Luis Miguel in at left back for Williams who we thought was injured but is actually playing left back for Barnsley instead so those are the teams it's I don't know who's gonna get us kicked off it's gonna be Barnsley to get us kicked off uh, let's just get a win here boys up the oars let's do it it even does the under five thing at the bottom now I've just noticed uh, and I, I know for a fact that it just got updated because before I played the game today uh, I had to wait like five minutes for it to update so I know I know for a fact that it's just been updated so they kind of fixed it Either that, or it's just... Hang on, Millet. It's a good cross! It wasn't supposed to be a cross. That was supposed to be a shot. <laughs> Cummins. To Jones. Jones. Back to Cummins. Cummins skips past his man. Leaves him for dead. Jason Cummins. Back across. It's in! Jason Cummins. One on one. And of course, he puts it away. Lovely interplay between these two. Cummins there. Just breaks the ankles of the number six. He's left for dead. Absolutely smacks it back across. Into the top left corner. And we are 1-0 up. And obviously, it's Jason Cummins with the goal. And I do believe... That is his 10th of the season now. It is 10th in the championship. You might be thinking, that's a bit crap, isn't it, for him? It, for him, it is. For him, you know, who by this time last season was on about 68. Um, it, it is quite quite low. But for a normal person, an average person, it's all right. Curtis Jones. Into Cummins. Cummins. Oh, he's turned him. Oh, it's a good tackle by number two there. I don't know who he is. It's probably one of the Williams. <laughs> if he's a fullback, it's a William. It's, that's all you need to know, but it was a good tackle there. Jones, big tackle. Cummins, oh, find him. Yep, Smith. Ami I don't know why I called him Smith. Emil smith Raw. he's absolutely skied it. It's because I called him Smith, isn't it? That's I, I called him Smith and he wasn't happy. smith Raw. spins inside his man. Cuts inside another one. Go on, Emil. Oh, he's gone for it, but uh, T-Rex manages. I can't call him T-Rex. T-Rex is already taken. We already know a T-Rex. Casting, yeah, I don't know. Up against one of the Williams. Cuts back. Millet's a bit free on the edge of the box. Millet rolls it past. Goes past two. He's dragged it. Jones upfield. Jason Cummins. Cummins now. He's took that wide. Goes, tries to go past one. He does go past one. Have a pop. Fuck's sake. He's put it over. How are we not like three or four up? McGeehan now. Finally, Barnsley look like they're going to come forward. Styles up to Woodrow. Woodrow out wide to order and Woodrow's fouled so they're gonna get that free kick a few players standing over the ball It's gonna be McGee to hit it. That's poor. That's poor Brown up to Schmidt Tries to put it in Luis Miguel gets in the way and it looks like as we enter two minutes of stoppage time Leighton Orient are gonna hang on. I say that when they've well, now we're giving the ball away a lot Although up to Chaplin. I assume that's Connor Chaplin Robbie Q there gets in the way wins it back boots it up and there is full time. Not the most convincing of wins, if I'm being completely honest. A 1-0 win away from home. You can never complain, but we were really poor in the second half. We had a lot of chances, which you probably would have saw. But they were just... Did we test the keeper? A lot of them flew over the bar. But a 1-0 win, it's not too bad. And we just again give one last kick to Barnsley. Yatsi, you want to come up with us? You want to get promoted with us? Well, guess what? We won the title and now you're fucking fu Okay, so next game of this episode, it's going to be simmed uh, at home against Wigan. We'll see how we get on a 1-1 draw. That's really not the best result for us. All right, next game of the episode, we're going to play this. Uh, it's at Nottingham Forest. And you remember at the beginning, I said, oh yeah, Nottingham Forest, uh, they're right below us in the in the table. Not anymore. It seems that whenever I want to play a certain team, they drop off. And they have. I don't think they've won this entire episode in the two games that we've had. Um, you know, you remember I did it with Leeds. Leeds were like top of the table. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll come back for Leeds. And uh, yeah, we'll play them. They've dropped. They're now fifth. Fulham are the only ones that have went, okay, we need to play Fulham because they're top. And they're looking quite good. They're the only one who haven't. They're, they're still there. They're still there. They're 13 points ahead of us already. So I'm thinking maybe the championship, you know, maybe the title is off the charts. Who knows? I, I don't mean to be a pessimist, 
but in this time of uncertainty in the world, I can only, I, I, it's all I can be. So Nottingham Forest is next, away from home for us, they're down in 8th, we're up in 4th, it's still, it's a, it's still a big game in the, in the top 6 race, if you will, um, because Nottingham Forest, you know, they've had a, Two bad results and they're down. One good result again and up they come again. It's, it's really close. So you have one good result for them and they'll shoot back up. One good result for us. And if Stoke slip up, we could move into third and just put a little bit more bumper room between us and dropping out this promotion uh, race. So let's get into it then. Nottingham Forest away. Let's do it. Let's do it then at Forest Park Stadium. I'm not sure whether that's what it's actually called. Nottingham Forest host Leighton Orient in a big game in the Top, we'll just call it the top half clash, and the top half race. Uh, Nottingham Forest were in the were in the playoff spaces uh, less than a week ago, and now they they find themselves down in eight, following two not favourable results for them. Um, so we could really do with piling even more misery onto Forest here. So they're playing a 4-2-3-1 and here is how they start. Jordan Smith in goal. Carl Jenkinson, former Arsenal player at right back. Then they've got Figueredo and Milos, Milos, Mil, Milosevic at centre back. Uh, Jack Robinson at left back. Liam Bridcut and Sam Basau as CDMs. And they've got Albert Adorma at right. Sami Amiobi at left. Uh, Thiago Silva, not that one. That one uh, at camp, and then Kyle Walker. No, not Kyle, not Kyle at all. That definitely, that 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 definitely said Tyler. Just decided to ignore the fact that it did say Tyler. And there is how we line up. Then the same team that just started the uh, Barnsley game. Uh, no changes at all. So let's get into this then. Tyler Walker is going to get us kicked off for Nottingham Forest. Let's do it, boys. Straight into an up the oars. Come on. Sammy Amiobi. It's a really good name to say. Sammy Amiobi. It's, oh, it's brilliant. Thiago Silva in a walker. Thiago Silva tries to chip one to the back stick. Luis Miguel gets there now. Jones picks up the loose ball, gives it a Marsh. Marsh gives it back to Jones. Jones is going to find Enzo in the middle. Enzo going to try and find Castaneda out wide, and he does so. Castaneda now cuts inside, gives it to Jones. Jones goes for the shot. It's easily held by Smith in goal. Is Smith Rowe going to find Enzo? Enzo up to Jason Cummins. Cummins, lovely drop of the shoulder. I've gone for the shot from there for some reason. Jones. To Smith Rowe, Smith Rowe infield to Cummins. Cummins gives it back to Jones. Just about Kurtz Jones. He's absolutely dragged it. Is Louis Dennis first? Uh, first we've saw of him in this game. Square that, Enzo. Enzo surely what a block by Milosevic. Mil That's such a weird name. I don't want another nil nil. It seems that like we've had about ten of those already this season. Louis Dennis out wide to Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe to Cummins. Cummins to Brophy. Brophy. He's bulldozed past his man. Go on, lad. You fucking dickhead. And they've made a change. Yeah, that's going to be great. Yeah, replace your striker with 20 seconds left. What a game Lewis Grabbins had. What a game he had. Grabbin came on. He stood there and that's it. He's back off. What was the point in that? Feels like two points dropped, which I, I say that. I, I'm pretty sure I say that every episode now. Because I'm sure we draw every episode. That will be like our, maybe our eighth draw of the season. Because we can't put chances away. We've been so good. We're the best. It, Robbie Q just disappeared. We've been the best defensive side in the league. That's not even me making that up. We have. We've conceded nine goals. But the problem is we're having. We can't score. We're really struggling to put chances away. Okay, so Carabao Cup uh, quarter final time. Let's make a few changes. Nothing too drastic. We're going to bring on Callum Britton uh, for... Uh, Robbie Q. We're also going to bring on Marvin for my boy. Louis Dennis is going to get a run out. Uh, so is Brophy for Castaneda. We're going to leave Smithrow on. We're going to leave Cummins on for now. But we will bring him off for Lee in the middle of the game. Just so he can have a bit of a rest. Marsh is going to come off for righty. And I think... I think that's all we are going to do. So here we go then. Burnley away. So Brisbane Road is playing host to a Premier League side once again. 
uh, and let's see if we can buck our place in the semi-finals. Penalties, if needed. We know how good we are at penalties. So yeah, let's let's try and do it within the 90. But I feel confident if we do go to the penalty spot. Let's do it, boys. A cold, wet night at Brisbane Road. And what a shock. When, it's, when Burnley are in town, it's pissing down. Handshakes all around for Sean Deitch's men. I don't know what they're doing in this in, in these times you can't be shaking hands with people you are you're asking for trouble asking for trouble so I know they are playing a flat 4-4-2 so we'll see who they line up with they've got Nick Pope in goal Ruben Pena as right back Willie Bolly from Wolves uh, centre back pond paired with Inigo Martinez uh, Kamal Lawrence at left back Jeff Hendrick at right mid Aidan O'Neill and Kovechi as centre mid. Dwight McNeil on the left and up top. Alfredo Morelos, Morelos who they've bought from Rangers. And Antonio Sanabria, who I have no idea. I'm sure he is from an Italian side from what I can remember. And obviously there's how we line up. We went through it before the game, but if you need a refresher, that is how we are starting. We're going to get this game underway. Jason Cummins is going to get us kicked off. 90 minutes separates us. 90 minutes plus penalties if needed separates us from a two-legged semi-final clash against a Premier League team. Let's do it, boys. Up the O's. Come on! Louis Dennis upfield to Jason Cummins now. Cummins tries to find Dennis again, but he does win that ball back. Bro feet. Back to Enzo, Enzo up to Cummins. Cummins tries to turn around the man mountain that is Willy Bolly. It does do that, but Nick Pop gathers, gathers at his near post. Cummins up to Louis Dennis. Go on, lad. Oh, big save by Pope. It's going to drop, is it? Cummins blocked by Big Willy. We all love Big Willy. He's righty to Brophy. Still Brophy. Trying to work some space. He does. Oh, he put that just wide of Nick Pope's goal. Cavesi. Good field inside to Morelos. He's hit that first time. He had time to take a touch. Probably take a few touches there. Oh, that's naughty. Louis Dennis could be off here. Yeah? Oh, he's got away with that. Louis Dennis there. He come diving in from behind to try and win it. And I think he did get a slight touch on the ball. Actually, I don't think he did. I think he's lucky to get off. I think he's lucky to still be on the pitch there, if I'm being honest. I don't know whether Burnley have just brought on Mikel Antonio as well. Right. Cummins. Cummins. Oh, it's hit his ass. It's literally hit his ass. Boy, McNeil, that's a poor touch. Go on, lad. Get on that. Millet, make him pay for this. Make him pay for this. Fucking, I'm going to make you pay for that, son. With four minutes to go, we are going to consider uh, the penalty shootout. I think Brophy was it last time. We didn't have good penalties yet. So we're going to bring him off for Luis Miguel. Uh, not Luis Miguel, Castaneda, that's completely wrong. Leon, oh yeah, better, yeah, better penalties and better finishing, so we'll put Leon for him. Who's got the worst penalties here? Looks like Ekby's got the worst penalties. Jones has got decent penalties, and with five minutes left, we can afford to play Curtis Jones at centre-back, really, can't we? Now the changes have been made, so we're ready for the penalty shootout. Unless me making those changes have just massively upended the scale, and we're about to concede. <laughs> or oh, they're about to concede, Cummins. Still Cummins. Oh, nope. Penalties we go. Two penalty shootouts in a row. Uh, two episodes, two penalty shootouts. Now, Cummins, I want you to get us off to a good start, a good confident start, and shit. Mikel Antonio now. He's put that wide. Let's not do this again, because I'm fucking worried, yeah, that if, if Burnley miss every penalty... Hang on, Smith Rowe goes for bottom right. He does get that. If Burnley miss every penalty... Then, okay, he's put that away. Because I was worried there, because West Ham missed every penalty last episode. I was like, if Burnley miss every penalty again, I'm going to have to explain myself. And just play. Like, I'm not doing anything. They're just shit. But he has scored. Lee, go for power. Oh, it's a lovely finish. Who's this? Who is that? No idea. That way. Oh, he's buried it. We need Mark Tyler. Mark Tyler would have saved all these. Curtis Jones now. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, oh my god, we're about to go out here, aren't we? <laughs> Shit! I don't know how he's hit the bar. Castaneda, he's just got to put this away. He's just got to put this away. And he does. And he does. It all rests on Dahlberg's shoulder now. I don't know who that is. It looks like it's Dwight McNeil stepping up to take this. And it is. Dwight McNeil, if he scores, Burnley are through. And they are through. Decent penalties from Burnley there. They just, every single time they went the other way, Burnley players aren't bothered. They're just walking away from him. 
And Dwight's just gonna... <laughs> Nobody, not a soul. Not a, they're all like, get up Dwight. Every every time they put one on target, they scored. And it's like, I can't I can't really complain because I didn't go the right way for any of them. And there's Dwight McNeil with his big shit-eating grin going off to celebrate when nobody, not not a soul of his team went out to celebrate with him. Not even a physio, nobody. So we are out of the Carabao Cup, which means that, you know, all we've got to focus on now is the league and FA Cup when that eventually does come around. And I think that's where we'll, we'll come back for the next episode. It will be in uh, that January, the beginning of the January period. So yeah, so that's where I'm going to finish it for today. Uh, we'll be back, like I said, around this time. Uh, we'll probably do the FA Cup third round, which is normally uh, here this weekend. So we'll do that. We'll also do Millwall, and then we'll do Fulham as well, because Fulham are still top of the league, uh, and it doesn't look like they're gonna they're gonna fall off anytime soon. So yeah, I'm gonna do Millwall, Blackburn, Sunderland, Nottingham Forest, Wigan, and Blackburn again for some reason <laughs> in highlights. And uh, yeah, we'll be back for this time here. So we will be entering the January window. Uh, so any suggestions, leave them down below. That's what we're going to finish for today. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll be back next week for the next episode of uh, the this this series. Uh, I have to think of the word. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Be sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff. And until next time, have a nice day. Oh, yeah,